Okay, question one, please. Read for me. What is the place value of two in 14.28? 14.28. 14.28. 14 you can say that after the point, this is the what? Tenth. The, the tenth position, then this is what? Hundredth. Hundredth position, right? Yes. So tenth position is two over ten, right? Yes. The place value of two here is two over ten, and that gives us what? 0 0.2. 0 0.2. Option C. So the C. place value of 2 in this is 0 0.2. Okay? Oops. Option C. C. Number 2. What is the difference between 5th multiple of 7 and 3rd multiple of 5? The 5th multiple of 7 is 5 times 7, right? Yes. 5 times 7? 35. 5 times 7, 35. Then the, the other part is what? Third multiple the of five. Third multiple, the third multiple of, five. of five. The third multiple of five is what? Three times five, and that's what? Fifteen. And we're looking for the difference. So the difference becomes? Twenty. The difference becomes twenty. Where is my camera? Option A. Okay, option A. Number five. number three. Find the LCM of eight, ten, and fifteen. LCM of eight, ten, and fifteen. Okay. LCM of 8, number 3. LCM of 8, 10, and, and 15. 15. Can 2 go? Yes. Into 8. 4. Into 10. 5. Into 15. F cannot. Can 2 still go? Y yes. 2 into 4. 2. Into 5. Cannot. Into 15. Cannot. Can 2 still go? Yes. 2 into 2. 1. Into 5. Cannot. Into 15. Cannot. Can 2 go? No. We now go to 3. Can 3 go? Yes. Three, cannot, two. cannot, five. Three can, so we we'll go to five. five. Cannot, one, one. So what's the LCM? LCM equals two. two times two times two times three times five. What's your two one? Times, two ten. times ten. Ten. Two times two. Four. Four times three. Twelve. Twelve times ten. 120. So the LCM is 120, right? Yes. Option, Option D. D. Option D. Okay. Number four. Write down the prime numbers between 20 and 30. And lest I forget, this is the um, past question for 2020 Delta stage, right? Yes, sir. So let's see the heading for the past question. Because I want to solve basically all the years a day at a time. So this is Mathematics 2020 Delta State JS three exams okay so go back the write down the prime numbers between, between 20, 20 and 30. 30 okay let's um, remind ourselves of prime numbers what are prime numbers prime numbers and numbers that are two factors itself a word one is not a prime number prime <laughs> two three five Seven okay, let's, eleven. Go, let's go slowly to two, three, five, seven, eleven, thirteen, seventeen, nineteen, twenty three, twenty nine, thirty one, thirty seven, forty one, forty three, forty seven, fifty, forty seven, fifty three, fifty nine, sixty one. 67, 71, 73, 79, 83, 73, 79, 83, 89, 97. Okay, so those are the prime numbers from 1 to 100. 100. And it's okay that we know it this way. But the question is demanding we get the prime numbers from 20, 20 to 30. To 30. So what, what are the prime numbers from 20 to 30? 23 and 29. So between 20 to 30, the prime numbers are 23 and 29, right? Yes, sir. And that's option what? D. Option D. Number five, please. Evaluate the following without using number like 30 minus. 13 minus minus, minus five, 5 because becomes minus times minus is what? Plus. So it becomes 13, 13 plus, plus five. 5. 13 plus 5. 18. Option C. Yes, option C. Number 6. 
Arrange the following numbers in ascending order of magnitude. Ascending order means from the smallest to the biggest. So what's the smallest number here? Minus, minus five. After minus five, you now have minus four. After minus four. Minus three. After minus three. Minus two. Before you now have zero. Option what? Option D. Let's forget that the option what? D. Option D, yes. minus 5, minus 4, minus 3, minus 2, then 0. Let's not forget that one of the easiest ways to remember this is to use our number line. Remember your number line? Yes. Do you remember your number line? Mm. Okay. If this is 0, this is what? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And it continues, right? Yes. Then this is what? Minus 1, minus 2. Minus three, minus four, minus five. It's and it continue. continues, right? Yes, sir. Okay. Now, it is decreasing. The magnitude is decreasing as you go this way. Okay. As you go this way, the magnitude is decreasing. So what it means is that five is bigger than minus five because it's decreasing. Four is bigger than minus five. 3 is bigger than minus 5. 0 is even bigger than minus 5. Right? Mm -hmm. It's better that, that you add 0 than you are owing. Okay? Then this way, the magnitude is what? Increasing. It's increasing. Okay? So take note. This is decreasing and this is increasing. Take note. So with number line, you can easily remember that. Next question. Simplify plus A over 7 plus C say over 7. Okay. A over 7 plus 6 over 7. Now, you remember that simple trick of um, the same um, denominator? Yes. So what should we do? What should we do? A over 7 plus C say over 7. So what should we do, please? Add Yes, yeah, so you have the same denominators in fractions this way, you just quickly add the numerator and take one of the denominator, which is 7. 6 plus A gives us what? 7A. 7 cancel 7, and that gives us? A. Okay. Option? Option A. A, option A. Good. Number 8, read for me. I think of a number. Square the number, then add 9 to the result to get 18. What is the number? I think of a number. Let the number be S. So if the number is S, square the number. So square S. Square S square minus nine to it, and the result becomes this number. What please? Number eight. Okay, number eight. So it means x squared. Take this over. Becomes what? Eighteen. minus nine. So x squared square becomes to nine. Square what should I do? Both yeah, square root both sides. So s becomes square Three. root of nine. Don't forget square root comes with plus and minus, right? Yes. yes. So s becomes plus or minus. Three. Any of them is for s, okay? In this case, they left it as three. They didn't put the other minus. Is that okay? Yes, sir. Number nine, nine. read for me. Express 144 as a product of its prime factors in index form. Okay. So in index form, 144. So we'll do it like LCM, right? Yes. Is this number nine or ten? Nine. So we'll do it like LCM. 144. Can two go? Yes. Two into this. 72. Can go? Yes. Two into this. 36. Can two go? Two into this. Can two go? Yes. 9. 3. 3. 3. 1. So that becomes? 2. Oh, call it first. 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 3 times 3. 2 raised to power 4 times 3 raised to power 2. Okay. 4 twos, 2 threes. And that's option, option one. Option A. Okay, option A. Number 10. The, the score of 20 students in the mathematics test is given in the table below. Can Find the modal scores. Carol, can you see the board one? The screen rather. Okay, what's the modal score? The score with the highest frequency. Yeah, with the highest frequency. So what's the highest frequency here? C. Six. Six is the highest frequency here because none of these other numbers is up to six. 
um, six is the highest frequency here. So the score that has six, and what's the score? Forty. So the modal score is forty. Fourteen. Option okay. D. The modal score is fourteen. Camera guy. Well, that guy is 14. Okay, number 11. Kaku. So far, have you filled anyone so far? Okay. Uh, the, the main thing is doing your corrections. If you if you make any mistake to correct yourself, that's the main thing. So number 11, please. How do you calculate error of Base times height. Okay, let's try to represent it pictorially using figures. So number eleven, parallelogram. Gram. Parallelogram. Parallelogram. The base is what? The base is twelve, 12 cm. Meters. meters. Twelve meters. Yes, sir. Then the height. Hope you know the height has to be eleven at right meters. The height has to be at right angle, so that's 11 meters. Do you get it? Yes, sir. So, area of a parallelogram is what? Base times height. Base times height. What's the base here? 12, 12 times height? 11. That's what? 132 meters square. Yes, option C. Yes, option C. Number 12. A polygon with six sides is called. A, a polygon with six sides is called what? Hexagon. A polygon with six sides is called what? Hexagon. Hexagon. Hep is seven. Seven. Hep is seven. Hex. Hexagon is six. Octagon is what? Eight. No, not one. Nine. Okay. Number thirteen. Number 13. Fold it. Fold the book. Fold the book. Good. Camera. Good. Okay, it was looking for what to zoom into. Camera guy. Excuse camera guy, wait. <laughs> camera guy, don't worry, you master it as a lens. Just try to position well. Okay. Read number 11 for me. Oh, this is the one we'll solve now. Yes. We'll solve calculate the area of a parallelogram, right? Yes, sir. The repeated then number 12 number again. 13 now. Okay, number 13, read. Identify the inequality represented on the number line above. Okay, the inequality represented on the number X. line. X. Now, you can see that the inequality is standing on two, right? Yes. yes. It's standing on two, number one. Number I two is pointing it. this way. Yes. And this is the less than. lesser than direction. Because this is shaded. You have lesser than or equal to less than two. or equal to less than or equal to. You have less than or equal to, right? Yes. Less than or lesser than. Less than or equal to. So less than or equal to. Two. Less than because it's pointing this way. Equal yeah. to because this is shaded, and this is two. So what what will be the answer? Less than, S S less than or equal to two. Option B. S less than or equal to two. Okay. Good. Number 14. 14. Round of 0 0.6667 to one decimal place. So one decimal place, that's here, right? Yes. That's here. You rule, rule your line here. After the decimal point, count one value. So that's this. So rule here. Is this up to is this up to five? Five. Yes. You call it one. Add it to this. becomes seven. seven. That's zero point. Zero point seven. Option B. Number 15. The angle of elevation of the figure below is 37 degrees. Find the angle of depression. Yes, angle of elevation is equal to angle of depression. And why is that so? Because they are alternate. Alternate, they are alternate angles. Alternate. Angles. Okay, if we have our angle of elevation, someone is here.
is looking but instead of him to look straight he now tilt his eye at an angle to see a bird flying he has elevated his eyes so this is angle of elevation 37 degrees, degrees. then the bird flying wants to look at the man looking at him okay instead of the bird to look straight the bed will have to depress the eyes, right? Yes. It will have to depress the eyes at an angle here. So this angle of depression. So if you look critically, this is alternate to this because these two lines are parallel. So this is alternate to this. So this is also 37 degrees. So we say angle of elevation is equal to angle of depression. Basically, that's the rule. So if this is 37 degrees, angle of depression becomes 37 is that okay? Yes, sir. Angle of elevation is equal to angle of depression. Okay. So that's 37 degrees. Next. From the table below, find the value of A given that Y equals to 3 plus X. Y is equal to 3 plus S. So to get the value of A, it is the corresponding value when S is what? Minus 1. When S is minus 1, right? Yes. So take minus 1 and substitute into the equation. Put minus 1 here because Y is equal to 3, three plus minus, up minus. One because plus minus is minus, right? Yes. So 3 minus 1. What's 3 minus 1? Two. 2. So Y is equal to? 2. Option B. B. Yes. Option B, number 18. What is the perimeter of the given shape? Mm, what's the perimeter? This is around the shape. So let's go around from here to here. Six. Six to here. Ten. Ten, right? Yes. Uh, six plus four, ten. Now, you don't have from here to here given directly, but it's given codedly because if this is if this is two and this is six, here must be what? Four. Here must be four. So that two plus four gives us six, right? Yes. So let's start again. Six plus ten. Four, ten plus four. Fourteen. Fourteen plus four. Eighteen plus two. Twenty. Then here to here is not giving directly by giving six. Code. We are twenty here. This would be it's not six. It's here to here, which is four. Then here to here, which is another four. Oh. You can see it here. Yes. So that is four, four. Eight. And that's what? Eight. Eight. So twenty, 20, 20 plus eight. eight. Twenty-eight you centimeters. Don't make this is not six. This is this length plus this length. Number 19. So that's option D. Yes. Number 19. Find the area of a triangle whose base is 72 centimeters and whose height is 55 centimeters. What's the formula for a triangle? Have base times height. Have base, base times height. What's the base, please? 72. And what's the height? 55 centimeters, centimeters right? Yes. Two here. One. Two here. 36. 36 times 55. 55. 1980 centimeters. 1980 centimeters. Is it in centimeters? Yes. Yes. Okay, centimeters squared. So that's the area of that. Triangle. Is that okay? Yes, sir. 1,980, that's option B. Number 20. Calculate the area of a trapezium A, B, C, D below. Okay. From the look of this diagram, though it's, it's supposed to be indicated, these two sides are the parallel sides. We are supposed to indicate that this is parallel to this. You know the formula, right? Yes. That is, what's the formula? Uh, Half uh, uh, open bracket, the sum of the parallel sides. So these two are the parallel sides that's supposed to indicate it but they didn't indicate it but from the diagram it's 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 showing there so it will be area of a trapezium is half the sum of the parallel sides times what i so that is half the parallel sides are 16 6 8 and 16 right 8 and 16 okay so it will be 8 plus 16. And what's the height? 4. The height is 4. Okay. So that is half times 8 plus 16. 2 here. 2 here. 12. 12 times that. 14. 
Centimeters square. square. Option B C. Option C, okay. Number 21. Find the value of the unknown. Move now, move. Oh. Find the value of the of the unknown angles in side. each of the diagrams. Find the value of the unknown angles in each of the diagrams. We look here. I think we have more diagrams to solve after this. This is number what, please? 21. Okay, now what what can you say about this diagram, please? Angle on, on a straight, straight line. line. So, 45 degrees plus 6 degrees plus 30 degrees is what? 180 degrees. It's 180 degrees, okay. What number was that? Uh, number 21, okay. So, 45 degrees plus S degrees plus what? Plus 30 degrees. Is equal to? Okay. Just plus this. 75 degrees. So what's S? 80 minus 75. Okay, so the unknown angle here is 105. Next question. Number 22. Read. Find this. Uh, find the size of, of the letter angle Y. Okay, this letter angle Y here and this 35, they are angle on a straight line. So the sum of Y and 35 gives us 180, right? So number 22. Y plus what? 35. 35. So what's Y? What's Y degrees, please? 180 minus 35. And that's 145. 145. Degrees. Okay. S simple questions. Number 23. Option C. Find the size of the letter at angle A. So if you look at this, this is angle at a point. Angle at a point. So 60 plus 90 plus L, L degrees will give us what? 360 degrees. degrees. Okay. Number 23. 60 degrees plus 90. 90 degrees plus what? Degree. 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 Go to what? 360. So that gives us what? 150 degrees L. plus L. L. 360 degrees. What's L degrees? 360 degrees. Yeah, 210 degrees okay and that's what option c next please find the median of the following numbers what's the what's median how do you get median middle number after you arrange them okay the middle number after you arrange them so we need to arrange in ascending or descending order so do you have the numbers there yes mm -hmm. so two two two, two. two. Three, three, four, five, four, five. Okay, arranged in ascending order. So this last one strikes this. Yes. This Two cancel four. The middle number. Three. So the median is what? Three. Median is what, please? Three. Option B. Okay. Next. Represent X. Greater than or equal to two number line. Okay, which of the number lines represents that? Option A. Okay, we can see number one because this is greater than, it will point in this direction, right? Yes. And because it's greater than two, it must, the person must be standing two. on two, two. right? Yeah. The person cannot be standing on minus one. The person cannot be standing on zero. The person must be standing on two. And because it's greater than, it must be pointing in this direction. And because it's greater than or equals to, the person's head must be shaded, right? Yes. So that's the shade there. So that's why it's pointing this way. And this is the area represented. <laughs> Number 26. What, what is it? 215 error. How do we calculate that? 12% of 250. Please, how do we get that? 12 over 100 times 250. 12 over? 100 times 250. 12 over 100. 12 over 100 times 250. Right? Yes. Zero cancel. Yes. 
five year five oh five year five five year two two year one two year six six and five thirty is it naira two hundred fifty naira okay option c what is twelve percent of two hundred and fifty naira so that's thirty naira number twenty seven Share six hundred naira to two students in the ratio two ratio three. Share six hundred naira to two students in the ratio two. Ratio three. Two ratio three. Okay. So um. Two ratio three. Trying to share six hundred naira. So the ratio two guy is going to get two over what? This plus this. Five times six hundred naira. Don't forget. Then the ratio three guy is going to get what? Three, three over five, five times three. Six hundred. This year. One. This year. One. Two times one twenty. Two forty so naira. So the guy with ratio two gets two forty naira. Then this year. Five year one. This year. One twenty. This times this. Three sixty. Three sixty. So 240 plus 360 will still give you back this 600 that share, right? Yeah. So they're going to rate, they will share the money in the ratio 240 to 360. Is that okay? Is that okay? Yes. Yeah, After what? C. Good. Number 28. So have the inequality 2x plus 3 greater than or equal to 9. Uh, good luck. Are you okay? So the inequality 2x plus 3 is greater than or equal to 9. 2x plus 3 is greater than or equal to 9. 2x plus 3 is greater than or equal to 9. So what should I do? So that gives us what? 2x greater than or equal to 9 minus 3. Uh -huh. 2x greater than or equal to 6. Divide both sides by? Divide by 2. 2x greater than or equal to 3. Okay. Option D. Next. Which of the following is recurring? Recurring. Recurring. That is, it, the division won't stop. Okay? The division won't stop. One over five, when you divide it, what will you get? 0 0.2. So it stops, right? Two over five. When you divide it, what do you get? 0 0.4. For 0 0.4. Uh, two over three. When you divide, what do you get? Yep. C C C C C C C C C C C C C C C C C It won't stop. Yep. It won't stop. What of thirteen over eight? Did you divide that? Let's divide that. I want also divide it. I want also divide it and see. Listen to this. This time this. Let's go. Introduce zero. Put point. point. This, this times this. But yes. Okay. Two. 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 Zero. So that that. Two to give us two. Eight times two. Eight times two. Two. This into this is what. Six. Difference. Four zero. That's what. Five. Five. So it stops, right? Yes. Because 40, this time is 40 minus 40, it cancels. So it stops there. So it's 1.625. Okay? So the only one that keeps recurring is this option C. Number 30. Evaluate, Evaluate minus 1 over 2. Open bracket 16 minus 18. Okay. Do the bracket first. first. Isn't it? Yes. Do the bracket first. Do the bracket first. Do the bracket first. Do the bracket first. One minus one over two into what? Sixteen. So that is minus one over two times. Sixteen minus eighteen is what? Minus two. Two cancel. Two. Minus one times minus one. One. Option. D. Option D. Number twenty. Thirty one. If the simple interest of a sum of money invested in a business is 5% per annum for two years at 15 naira, 
Find the principal. What's the simple interest? 15 error. Yes, the simple interest is 15 error. Okay. What's the time? Of the Two rate? years. And what's the rate? Five percent. So looking for the principal. Okay. And the thirty one. Simple the interest is unknown. The simple interest is what? Fifteen naira. The time is what? Two years. The rate is what? Five percent. So simple interest is equal to two times rate times time over one hundred. So that's 50 is equal to 3 times 2 times 5 times 2 10 10 will cancel one of these zeros, right? Yes. Cross multiply, P becomes what? 500 naira. Naira. So the principal is 500 naira. Is that okay? Yes, sir. Oh, we got it. Okay. Number what, please? I don't say it. How much is it? Number 32. Read. Put a copy of my mathematics for JSS2 at 1000 naira. I sold it at 850 naira. Find the loss on it. Find his loss on it, not loss percent. So, how are we going to get the loss? Quarter minus selling price. Yeah, because he made loss this time, it's the cost price minus the selling price so that's 1000 minus what 850. and that's what 150 150 option, option b option b number 33 read for me please the first four multiples of 11. first four multiples of 11 are what 11, 11 22 33 44 option d option d number 34 Write down the next three tenths on the sequence. Oh, zero. good sequence. Two. What is happening here? Adding two. Adding two. Two plus zero. Two. Plus two. Four. Four. Plus two. Six. Plus two. Eight. Plus two. Ten. Plus two. Four. Option B. B. Next. Write forty percent as a ratio. I told you that ratio is what? Divide. Yes, ratio is division. So. If they say 40 percent, 40 percent is something as well. 40 over 100. Yes. So you can cancel, take it to this lowest term. Two here. Two. Two here. Five. So that's what? Two over five. Two which is no, five. Five. Two is to five. Okay. Two is to five option. Six. Number 36. Evaluate square root of 64 over 121. Square root of 64. 8. Square root of 1 to 1. 11. 8 over 11. Next. Option what? That's option D. one. D. Option D, okay. We're pretty fast. Uh, no, you had the wrong area. We're pretty faster this time around. What did we get? Option D, 8 yes. over 11. Number 37. Express 60 as a product of this prime factor using index notation. Okay, 60. Is that 37? Is that 37? Yes. Okay. yes sir. 60. Can two go? Yes, sir. That gives yes, sir. us. Can two go? Yes. yes. Talk to me. 50. Can two go? No. So I use 3. 5. Then? 5 can go 1. So that's what 2 times. Mm -hmm. Why are you not talking to me? That's what? Two square times times five. Hope you know it's something as raised to power one, raised to power one. Hope you know. Yes, yes sir. So that's what option. Dot is times in mathematics, just in case. Option, dot option B. Dot also means times. Okay. Huh? Yes, sir. Dot and that representation for times. Option B. Number 38. How many meters are in? 3.2 kilometers. 3.2 kilometers. We want to change it to meters. 3.2 kilometers. We want to change it to meters. 3.2 kilometers. We want to change it to meters. Okay. What's the conversion relationship? 1,000. 1,000 what? Meter. 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 Meter.
This means that one kilometer is equal to one thousand meters. So therefore, three point two kilometers equals to. You know why we arranged it this way now, so that kilometers can be under kilometers. Three point two kilometers will now be this times this divided by this. So that is one thousand times three point two. One. So that's what. Two hundred. Okay. So just multiply three point two with one thousand, and you have the answer there. Option one. Okay. Number thirty-nine. Arrange the following in in descending order of magnitude. Yes, in descending order of magnitude. Okay. Descending order, descending means from highest to lowest. Yes. What are the fractions? Three over four, three over five, seven over ten, one over two. One of the easiest ways to reduce it quickly to decimal. So this over this is what? Zero point seven five. This over this is what? Zero point six. This over this? Zero point seven. This over this? Zero point five. Okay. We said descending order means from the highest to so the lowest. So you can see the highest is this, right? Yes, sir. Zero point seven five, belonging to three over four. Before this, zero point seven, belonging to seven over ten. Before this, zero point six, belonging to three over five. Before this, five, belonging to one over two. So what is the arrangement there? Option one. A. A. Option A. Okay. Number 40. Express 11 over 2 as mixed fraction. Okay. How many twos do you have in 11? Five. five. So five remaining one, one over two. Five That's number option, one over two. Option, option C. C. Number 41. Express 0 0.0607 in standard form. So standard form, the point has to be after the first significant, significant number. number. And the first significant number here is what? Six. Six. So let's move this point there. Let's go. One, two. One, two. Okay. So that will be 6.07. Seven times. times seven ten 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 minus two. Because we moved two times. One, two. And because we are moving this way. So it's minus two. One, two. So it's 6.07 times 10 is by minus two. Option D. D. Option D. You get that? Yep. Number 42. Go up. Find the size of the lateral angle X. Good. This full angle, the two of them, the sum of the two of them is what? 90 degrees. Can you see that? It's here. It's a right angle, 90 degrees. So 19 plus S is what? 90, 90 degrees. degrees. Right? Yes. 19 plus S is 90 degrees. So if 19 plus S is 90 degrees, we can get S. 19 plus S. Is 90 degrees. So as we count what? 90 minus 19. So as we count what? 71. 71 degrees. Okay. Shh. Option D. Number 43. How many sides have a regular decagon? 10. Option C. How many C. sides has a regular decagon? Coco, how many sides has a regular icosagon? Oh no, Moko. <laughs> Class, how many sides has a regular cosagon? Twenty. Okay. You have to know those those signs from one to twenty without making mistakes. So um how many sides has a regular decagon? A decagon has ten sides, right? Yes. Number forty-four. Evaluate two M N minus four M P. Given that M equals to eight, N equals to two and P equals what? P equal to one. Okay. 2MN. Mm, please call it for me, number 44. Call for me so I can write. 2MN so mm, mm, minus 4MN. Uh, uh, mm, minus 4MP. Mm, four mm, four when? When? M equals to 8. N equals to 2. P equals to 1. So let's substitute this with one. Two. two open brackets, eight M. times eight, eight times two minus four times two two times one. So that gives us eight times two sixteen times two thirty-two minus eight eight times one eight minus eight. Twenty-two minus eight. Twenty-four. 
Option B. Camera wants to sleep. Option uh, B. B. Yes. 45. Okay. Forty-five. Calculate the value of x in the triangle below. I can see that this is a right angle triangle, so can use Pythagoras triple. Yes, can use Pythagoras theorem, or if you know Pythagoras triple, you already know what the answer would be. What's the answer? Twelve. Yes, Pythagoras triple that we know. We know about is it around ten of them or so. So this is twelve from what we know. But let's use Pythagoras theorem to get it. This is the hypotenuse, right? Yes. The the longest length one, and it is opposite the hypotenuse right it's opposite the right angle sorry it's up the hypotenuse is opposite the right angle um um abdu you are distracting me 13 is the longest side one and it is opposite the right angle so this is the hypotenuse so if this is hypotenuse hypotenuse square is equal to this square plus this square isn't it so 13 square number 45 So 13 square is equal to what? X square plus 5 square. So that's what? 169 equals uh, X square plus 25. Uh huh. X square, X square equals to uh, 9 minus 25. Uh huh. X square equals to 144. X square both sides. Square roots, not square. Square root both sides. So that gives us what? 12. So x is 12. So this is 12. 12 nice. centimeters of course. Option C. Yes. Number 46. Angle 30 degree could be constructed by bisecting angles. 60 degrees. Bisect means to divide. So divide into two, to share into two. So if you divide 60 degrees, you'll get 30 degrees. So the answer is 60 degrees. If you bisect 60 degrees, you get 30 degrees. Number 47. Who knows that? Pyro just square huge. I gave you this kind of question in our last exam. Remember? Yes. You remember? Yes. <laughs> yeah. Number 48. Find the coefficient of x in x minus 2. X minus 3. X minus 3. That's times, please. So, want to look for the coefficient x minus 2 x minus 3 coefficient of x so we'll first expand x times x, x square minus 3x minus 2x plus 6 that's this times this right plus 6 so we can add this to that one. x square minus 5x plus 6 question minus 5x plus 6 so what's the coefficient of s? What's minus five. Minus five is what is attached to s, right? Yes, sir. That's minus five. Option what? Option B. Okay, number forty-nine. Make R the subject of formula. Make v R equals the to pi square. V square equals to pi square, square h. I want to make R the subject of formula. Yes. Okay. Divide both sides. Formula, please. V is equal to pi square. H. What formula is that? Cylinder. Volume what, of a cylinder. What cylinder? What what formula is this, please? Volume of volume. It's volume of a cylinder, please. Not cylinder, not just cylinder. It's volume of a cylinder. We can calculate the curved surface area of a cylinder. Okay. So this is we can calculate the total surface area of a cylinder too, and we can calculate the volume of a cylinder. Okay. So this is the volume of a, of a cylinder. I want to make ah sorry, the formula. What should we do, please? Divide both sides by pi h. We remove pi and h from this side by dividing both sides by pi h. So it will be v over pi h is equal to pi radius square h over pi h. Pi cancel pi, h cancel h. So you square v over pi h. What should I do next? So r becomes square root of v over pi h. Option. The question is with you now. Option B. B. V. V. Square root of V over pi is option V. Number 15. The area of a triangle is 36 centimeters. 
If the base of the triangle is 9 centimeters, find its height. How do you calculate of the triangle? Um, times height. Area of the triangle is half. Base a times height. Times height. Now we're giving the area to be what? 36 centimeters square. And we're giving the base to be? Nine. nine. Is the height we're looking for, right? Yes. Okay. So the area is 36. 36 equals to so one over two times. What's the nine? What's the base nine, right? Nine times eight. Should go out to 36. Okay. What should I do? Nine times nine. h is equal to nine. Okay. Well, the Bible side by the Bible side by nine. nine. The Bible nine. side by nine. So h is equal to 36, 36 times 2 over 9. You should know why, why I'm reluctant to multiply. Yeah, because I'll still cancel. I'll still cancel. From here, I'm even supposed to cancel straight. 9 here, 1. 9 here, 4. 2 times 4, 8. So this here. This here. 4. So h is equal to? 8. So the triangle is 8 centimeters high. Okay, we have, I think, about 10 more questions. So we're nearly there. Our camera is going to sleep. What's that? Nest. Nest, please. Why For two years and seven percent per annum. The question was simple interest. Oh, the question is uh, simple yeah, interest. Yes, simple interest in my past question. Now, what should you do? Should you calculate simple or just make it compound? Simple. Yeah. Why? Why do you want the simple one? Compound is too long. Okay, let's calculate it. So, I like that. I like that. I know simple will give us the answer, but let's just calculate it. Too. So, that if you are forgetting compound, you remember. Number 51. Thank you very much, um, Choco B. Kim. <laughs> so, what's the principal, please? What's the principal? 30,000 error. Yes, sir. Uh huh. Time, two years. Time, two years. What's the reason? 7%. Per annum. 7%. Okay. So if it's simple interest, so be what? Times rate times time over 100. So what's simple interest, please? Can Thirty thousand times seven. Thirty thousand times two times seven over hundred. Zero cancel. Zero zero cancel zero. What do have? Three hundred times seven times two. What's the answer? So that's simple interest. But let's calculate compound interest. So this was the formula for compound interest. Big bracket. Big bracket. So the principal here is what? 30,000. Open big bracket. Open small bracket. Oh my goodness. What's the rate? 7, Seven over 100. Uh, close small bracket. Just so so 2 minus 1. Close big bracket. So that's what? 30,000. Open small bracket. One, one plus zero seven. Rest the power. Two minus, minus one. So that gives us a. Open bracket. bracket. Open small bracket. One point zero seven minus. Are we there? Yes. So please press your calculator for me. Oh, mine is zero. One point zero seven square. Is what? <laughs> One point. 
minus one. So that is thirty thousand. This minus this is what zero point one four four nine. So thirty thousand times that gives us what? Uh, what she did? Okay, I give. She has been waiting. What's the answer? Call her to come up. Four thousand. Four thousand three hundred and forty-seven. And you people say, and you people said it's simple interest. You know, in the option. Yes. You see, there is that uh, man. I said Ephraim. You should. You should. But Mr. James, the simple interest is my past question. Oh, your past question. They said simple interest. Yes. What do you have in your past question? Is it simple interest? Yes. Okay, because we calculated using compound trial. We got option C. Anyway, any of them they said we know how to do it right. We know how to do it right. Yes. Sir. Number 52, read. Use four figure tables to find sine 27.6 degrees. How are we going to look for it? Yes, how are we going to look for it before we got table? Look for sine 27 under 6. Yes, sine 27 under 6. What did you get? Option C. 0.4633, not degrees. You have already converted it from degrees. So 0.4633. Number four uh, fifty three. Come, I'll soon I'll soon be free to respond to this city. Yes. Number fifty three, please. Okay, what sign, please? Opposite of hypotenuse. What sign? Opposite of hypotenuse. This is angotita. So, what's the opposite to angotita? What's the hypotenuse? 30. Hypotenuse is always the one facing the right angle. And the so yes. opposite over hypotenuse, 12 over 13, right? Yes. Option what? Sin theta is 12 over 13. Option. Yes. Option C. Yes, yeah, C. 12 over 13, option C. Next. 54. Which of these are instruments is used in measuring angles? Protractor, option C. For measuring angles. Yes, number 55. The pie chart below shows the distribution of various types of secondary school in this state, which are 720 secondary schools. How many technical schools are in the state? Okay, can you see carefully? If you look at this, uh, this pictorial presentation carefully, Technical schools has the right angle here, so that's 90, 90 degrees. If you even say you, it wasn't given. If you add one twenty plus one fifty to be what? Two seventy. Two seventy plus ninety must give you three. So this must be ninety to complete it three sixty, right? Yes, sir. Now they are asking us how many technical schools are there in the state. So it will be the angle of technical schools, Ephraim, you are distracting me. The angle of technical schools, which is 90 over 360 times the total number of secondary schools, which is what? So it will be 90 over the total angle, which is 360, then times 720. So that will be... 90, the angle of technical schools over 360 the total angle 720 the total number of schools 90 here 1 90 here 4 2 yet okay 4 here 1 remember that 3 4 here 8, eight. Four here. 0 so we have how many technical schools 180 technical schools option C Okay. Next, please. The construction below is. What are we trying to construct there? 30 degrees. Why do you say 30? We are bisecting 60. Now, what gives it away that is 60 degrees that are constructing first? What gives it away? 
this that, act yes. here, this thing they cut here. Hope you know. Yes. Because of this thing they cut here, it it has given it away that is sixty that constructing they constructed first. So this line is from here to here is sixty degrees. Then they're now bisecting sixty. Put here cut. Put here cut. Bisecting sixty. So it's thirty degrees that const that finally constructing. Right? Yes, sir. Option B. Number fifty-seven. Factorize y square minus five y plus c is equals to zero. A quadratic. A quadratic. Expression. Equation is equal to zero. So number fifty-seven is an equation. Uh, Florence, call for me y squared. Y square minus five y plus six equals to zero. So six. Factors of this. Caro. Minus three y and minus two y. Minus three times minus two. Minus three times minus two is what? Ma what? Six y. y. Minus three plus minus two is what? Minus five. So that's the correct one, right? Yes, sir. If you multiply these two, you get this. If you add these two, you get this. So we take this to replace that. That gives us what? Square minus three y minus two y plus six equals to zero. Group them. Two by two y square minus three y. Y square minus three y close bracket plus minus two y plus six equals to zero. What's coming here? Y. Bring it out. Y minus three. What's coming here? Minus two. Y minus three. Oh, equals to zero. These Hope two you brackets know six are the same. Over minus two is minus three. Hope you know. Yes. That's why I have minus three. Are the two brackets the same? Yes. So you pick one. one of them. Take this and take this. That's what. Y minus three. Y minus two equals to zero. You say factorize or solve? Factorize. 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 Okay, factorize. So we'll stop there. So that's option. Y minus no, three, three. Y minus two. Option what? Option C. C. Number 58. If y varies inversely as 1 over uh, as x. Read again. If y varies inversely as x, when y equals to 6, x equals to 2, find the value of y. x equals to 4. Okay. Y varies inversely as s. Because of inversely, that word is it number 58 now? Is it number 58, please? Yes, sir. Because of inversely, this is how it's presented it's one over. So, y varies inversely as s. So, y becomes equals to k over what? Yes. X. When you change proportional sign to equals to introduce your constant, constant. k. So, y becomes equals to k over s. Are we together? Yes, sir. The is saying when y, y equals to 6, six x, x equals to 2 so y when y equals to 6, six x plus let's substitute this value to get our constant k so put here 6 equals to k over 2 so k becomes what 12 so let's substitute to get our relationship y is equal to 12 over i don't like that 12 12 over s. s this is our law, law or relationship of formula. So, uh, formula so y is equal to k over s becomes y is equal to 12 over x why is control following my pointer now why is it controlling <laughs> okay so y is equal to 12 over s is relationship now here's the question it says find the value of y when s is equal to 4 isn't it yes sir so when s equal to 4 y becomes equal to 12 over s so y becomes equal to 12 over what's s now cancel cancel please so y is equal to 3 when s is equal to 4, four. right? Yes. Okay. It's uh, number 59.
Number 59, please. When P equals to 10, Q equals to 5, find the relationship between P and Q. P and Q, P, Q. P varies directly as Q. P varies directly as Q. So P is equal to what? Take Q. Talk to me. First thing, you replace your proportional sign with equal to. So when you replace, when you change proportional signs to equal to, it reduces your constant K. Right? Yes, sir. So P is equal to KQ. That's the next thing you write. Then the question says, when P is equal to 10, Q is equal to 5. When P is equal to 10, Q is equal to... Uh, <laughs> when P is equal to guinea, 10. Q is equal to 5. So with this, we can now get K so that we get our relationship. So put it here. 10, 10 is equal so to K, K times... K is what? 5. five. Cancel. K so K is what? 2. Substitute it here to get a relationship. P is equal to what? 2 and Q. So these are... Relationship. Formula. Law. Or law. So if we have a law, we can now get other values. It now says... Okay, find the relationship. That's what they want. So yeah. what's the relationship, please? P is equal to 2Q. P is equal to 2 P is equal to 2Q. Option. A. Option. A. Number 60. If P equals to X plus 7 over X minus 3, find P when X equals to 3. So when X equals to 3, let's put it here. Put 3 here. 3 plus 7. 10. When x got to 3, put it here. 3 minus 3? 0. Oh, 10 over 0? Is indefinite. Indefinite. It's undefined. It's undefined. It's undefined. This mass is not correct. Anything over 0 is undefined. It's undefined. It's, it's undefined. So those are the first 60 questions for our theory. Okay? Yeah.